Adding a background image with inline style is not a good practice, but this is not invalid. But we can do it dynamically with jQuery. So how can we do that? Let's do something like data bg img and let's define the path. So I have background image background card image dot jpg so this is my path and i just lost my background image so we will add through our jquery let's write some jquery let's target our selector first data bgimg then we need to add a CSS but we need to loop it first because we can have multiple background images so let's say each function then this dot CSS and let's say background image URL so this is our path okay path we're going to add our path here so let's say concatenate and then we just need to take this data bg ing so now we are taking the path of our data attribute okay so this is simple and now if i save then i'm going to get the inline style through jquery so let's inspect and now you can see okay now you can see style background image url background car image dot jpg and we also have the data bg img attribute we can just simply um, let's say remove attribute data bg img okay so now only have style background image url background car image dot jpg and if you always want to add a class with this so you can write some CSS with it you can write something like add class bg image or something like that let's save it and now we have a class and also background image okay so you can use a background image dynamically or insert an image with jquery you don't need to use style background image not not like that you can you do something like that both are valid but this is the good way good practice to do or to add an image in your project so this is for today so hopefully you like the video and i will see you in the next one